than there was just as if there wasn't enough stress in your life. But seeking help as a public figure, isn't that kind of terrifying? Yeah, no, I think, and this is one of the big points of, of my book is, you know, getting a help in the first place is is difficult, particularly on the mental health side. Now, I think it's difficult on the phys- physical health side because our healthcare system tends not to be great at diagnosing problems. And I know a lot of people who can get frustrated. It's like, I'm in pain. You go to a physical therapist, you go to a doctor, you know, they tell you something and it doesn't doesn't work. So, I mean, figuring out how your body works can be difficult, but on the mental health side, you've got a couple of things battling. Number one, you've got a stigma. You know, if people think you have mental health problems, they view you differently than if they think you've got a bad back. Okay. It is stigmatized. And I've described it in in interviews and I can't remember if I am this explicit about it. Yeah. And in my book, I am explicit about it too. My view of mental health growing up was there was this line. And on one side of it was normal, and on the other side of it was crazy. And I was normal, so I didn't have to worry about mental health, (laughs) okay? And I I think, and a lot of people do think of it that way. If you cross over that line and say, I have a mental health problem, oh my goodness, now it's like, I got to worry about this. People are going to look at me. So there's an incredibly powerful desire to wish it away, (laughs) okay? And that's what, you know, when I was 25 and I had that bout of depression, I didn't talk, I didn't tell anybody about it. I didn't do anything about it. And after four or five months, it went away. So I was like, I guess this is the way mental health works. So have a few problems, ignore it, eventually it goes away. So it's very, very difficult. And then, yes, as a public figure, if people you know perceived me differently, I mean, we all want to sort of manage our brand, our image, you know, and part of that image, you don't want it to be that you've got a mental health problem if people are, you know, going to vote for you and depend on you to be a leader in the community. That's the perception. And the final thing that makes it difficult is the general perception out there that, okay, I have a mental health problem. What's anybody going to do about it? And that was part of my thing. It's like, I knew enough about physical injuries. Like my knee hurts. I come in and they diagnose it and they say, you need a surgery. You don't need a surgery. And then they have a physical therapy program. Do these exercises, do these stretches, do that thing, get better. What are they going to do to to change the way I feel? What's anyone going to tell me that's going to make my mind suddenly go, oh no, it's fine. All right. You know, I just, I had no conception of it. And I think most people don't, but the truth is there are some very specific mental health therapies that can help you train your brain in the exact same way you train your body. I've taken the saying that it's like, let's say that you're easily winded, your cardio is not great. So you're like, okay, I'm going to go run. I'm going to bike. I'm going to swim. There's ways to build up your cardiovascular strength so you can climb up more hills and not be out of breath. Same is true for your brain. You know, you can train your brain to better process the events in your life so that they are less stressful and less troubling, both in terms of the now and then in terms of dealing with stuff in the past that could be causing you underlying problems for reasons that you're not immediately aware of.